formal, very business-like. So uh, every writing skill has got a particular vocabulary to it. So make sure that you know that vocabulary, those expressions, those phrases, and you use them in your writing skill. Now, remember I told you about the fourth paragraph and that the fourth paragraph is just a simple line and I call it the polite close. Now, there are these certain examples. There could be more. So, looking forward to hearing from you soon. Next could be looking forward to doing business with you or looking forward to a lasting business relationship with your reputed firm or institution or hoping for a prompt reply or response. A prompt reply is solicited. And in case it is, uh, you know, reply to the inquiry, then it would be the business establishment writing to the client or the customer, looking forward to your continued patronage. Who are the patrons? The client or the customer, because they will be giving the money for the goods. So. This is also a good example. So the first part of the letter mentions the purpose, while the second part specifies the follow-up expected from the receiver. I hope this is all clear. And as far as the format is concerned, I'll go over it once more. There's no need to put commas after the sender's address or reference number or date or designation manufacturer or address of the whole business firm and then subject of course please make sure it is the complete word subject and not just sub or subj there's no need to write a comma even after salutation and then content everything has to be left margin we are following this format more and more because of use of uh, computers and sending things by mail so this is something it is like you just press enter and the cursor moves to the next line and then you start typing from there so with this i come to the end of the explanation of all the different kinds of business letters which are actually five kinds there are others which we will do subsequently and I will be sharing the sample letters with you as well. So the sample letters will be followed by an exercise which you will do. I will post it later. First you try and get the vocabulary students another word of advice. There's a lot of resource material available but don't go overboard with writing lots of it so don't make your letter very long but if you like certain expressions or you like certain sentences do keep them handy and use them but do not make the length of the paragraphs too long bye bye for now